Hey guys, welcome to the first tutorial on Control Freak Control Gear. The subjects of this video are the UB and the UB Power. If you look under the design heading of my sketchpad, you'll see a nice cell shaded version of the UB. Now the UB and the UB Power are Dali line splitters, and they can handle quite a few different functions. First of all, uh, because they are line splitters, they can split the line into multiple different branches. This allows you to rate your cables in different directions. Secondly, the terminal blocks that you plug these wires into, uh, these, these can easily be removed. This means that you can stop communications between head and controllers or other systems that are affecting your line when you're trying to diagnose faults. Thirdly, on top of the UB and UB power are two banana jack terminal inputs. Now these allow direct access to the Dali line. With this, you can safely plug a Dali commissioning tool such as the Control Freak Addict to take full control of their line. And this means that you can send any Dali commands such as fade up, fade down, min, max, and, and just the basic uh, direct arc level. Fourth, uh, Dali is accidental 240 volts rated. And this UV has a status LED on the front which warns the user when 240 volts has been put onto the line. Now in the case of the UV power, uh, which is the only difference between the UB and the UB power is that it has an inbuilt Dali line power supply. This allows you to, to power that single Dali line, which may be spread into different branches. Alright, so here we are with a demonstration of our UB and UB power. I just have a simple setup, a Slumo LED driver. We've got a three, uh, three color RGB uh, strip and our Dali commissioning tool, the Addict. Now you can see, very simple setup, we just have a fade running um, on the addict and that's connected through these cables to our UV power which is then connected to our slamo. So if I disconnect the addict from the UV power, we have instant um, disconnection on the Dali line. Now this is quite handy if you want to do commissioning and you want to remove the controller for ease of debugging. We can then push it back in and it will resume normal operation. So there are two different models of our UV. We've got our UV with no power supply, and we've got our UV with our Dali PSU integrated into the unit. Um, so in this configuration, this UV power is supplying the power for the Dali line, um, and our addict is not. So I can easily swap this UV power for a normal UV. So now there will be no Dali, no Dali power supply um, powering the slamo. And if I move, um, move the cables onto this UV, we'll see that our addict will drop out from power. And now we've got the addict supplying the bus power. So we've got no external bus power from this uh, UV power, it's just the addict supplying the power. Both the UV and the UV power uh, have an indicator on the front of the unit to say when there's over 60 volts on the Dali line. Um, this happens when accidental mains uh, goes onto the, onto the Dali and it's an indication to turn the system off immediately and don't, not to touch the UV or UV power. So the banana jacks on the top of these units are quite handy when you want to connect a tool such as our addict um, directly to the line without having to remove any of the terminals. The other benefit you have is with a standard multimeter these red and black cables, which come standard with the addict, will fit directly into uh, the multimeter. And then we can see we get the correct Dali voltage, um, and we know that that line it should be fine. There shouldn't be any issues with it.